trumpets, blend the drums, here he comes. Hop along, Cassidy, here he Sounds like trouble. Come on. Hold it. We're heading for home, not looking for trouble. Help me! Help! Hold that kid! Much obliged. I'm Dan Morgan across the outfit. Get off that horse. Wait a minute. What's the trouble? I don't know if it's any of your business, mister, but the trouble's rustling. This kid and his Indian gang just run off a herd of lazy old beef. That is a lie, senor. Those men were not my people. Who were they, then? I... I don't know. He's lying about it. We just saw him acting as lookout for them. No, no, I was on my way to town. I heard the noise and stopped to watch. I swear to you. Ah, stop your lying. Get him, Kane. Stay where you are. What's the idea? That kid is as dangerous as a rattlesnake. Then why not let the law handle him? All you have to do is swear out a warrant and the marshal will do the rest. That's fair enough, Dan. I guess you're right. You know, them ghost Indians been raiding us plenty lately. The marshal can tell you that. What do you mean by ghost Indians? Well, that's what we call them. If anybody ever gets a good look at them, they just hit and disappear back up in there somewhere. Hey, what's this thing? Oh, well, that, that's mine. <laughs> I picked it up after one of the engine raids. Well, that's a carved stone amulet. They're always dropping stuff like that. In fact, that's how we know it's them that's causing all this trouble. Well, why don't the ranchers go up and chase them out? We tried that. That's rough country up in there. Every time we do, we lose a trail. Come on, hurry up, King. Did you get that Indian kid? No, we had him, but he got away. Anyway, he didn't get close enough to you boys to find out anything. Well, that's good. Just the same. We're going into town to keep an eye open. No, don't care for the looks of that place. See, there's a fella teller. Hey, fella! Hey, where's the best place to eat around here? Oh, I don't know. I do my own cooking. Oh. Now, say, let me give you a hand. No, I don't need any help. Oh, sure you do. Well, it's kind of heavy. Oh, I'll get under it. Say, you ever make raspberry pie? Best in the West. Did you do, huh? Say, oh, you I... clumsy yak should drop that on my foot, and I think hey, you've done it hey, on purpose. Hey, what's going on? He made me drop Doc Harmon's specimen case. Doc Harmon? Yeah. Oh, well, I think I can swear it. It was in a damage done. The doctor's an old friend of mine. Oh, well, that's okay, then. Uh, where is the doctor? Oh, down the street there somewhere, checking on supplies. Now I'll help you. Oh, come on, come on. I'll be glad to see Doc Harmon again. I was on an expedition with him once. He was, yeah? What does Doc Harmon do? He's a famous archaeologist. Archie what? Archaeologist. He studies ancient ruins. You mean like, uh... Oh, no, not that kind of a ruin. <laughs> I'll bet the old fuddy duddy's a ruin himself. <laughs> Everything checking, Dr. Harmon? Thank you, Red. That's just fine. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. I'm Sue Harmon. Don't you remember me? Oh, of course. I didn't recognize you at first. I'm not a bit surprised. Nobody ever looks at an old putty duddy I'm sorry. I didn't mean hugging. Oh, she'll forgive you. Won't you, Sue? I really shouldn't. Oh, uh, Dr. Harmon, may I present my two friends? This is California Carlson and Lucky Jenkins. How do you do? Well, uh, not a bit well so far. Give him time. Give him time. <laughs> Where's your father? Dad isn't with us. He hasn't been very well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
You mean you're going on this expedition without him? Well, it's quite important that this research work be completed at once. Well, I thought you could look for relics any time. Ordinarily, yes, but this trip is different. You see, it may prove Dad's pet theory that the Talmic Indians we're searching for are actually the last of the Aztecs who were driven from Mexico by Cortez. Well, I know, but couldn't you have waited? Mm -mm. We must be the first ones to bring back the proof. Oh, I see. Oh, Dr. Atwood. I want you to meet Mr. Cassie, an old friend of Dad's. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Did you know about this expedition? Why, no. We just happened to meet Miss Harmon and saw your wagon. Why do you ask? Nothing, really. You see, we're a little proud of the historical discovery we expect to make, and we don't want anyone to beat us to it. Ranching is my business, Dr. Atwood. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Jose! You finally got here. We were beginning to worry about you. Are you going to be the guide, Jose? Yes, senor. I take these good people to the ancient home of my tribe. Oh, so you know Jose. Senor Cassidy is my good friend. I owe him my life. Well, where is that map you promised us? It is here, doctor. Maybe it was because of Atwood's objections and attitude that I allowed Sue to persuade us to join her expedition. Anyway, next morning we were headed for Indian country. Front of Box Canyon. Good thing you got them lazy old cows up in there yesterday. Yeah, kind of a narrow squeak at that. Uh, well, they're still in East Meadow. What? I told you never to leave any stock here but our own brand. Well, I figured they'd be safe for a couple of days. So we're stuck with them. And that Indian kid's still running loose. Maybe telling Cassidy. Cassidy's with the expedition. You don't say. Right under our noses. Yeah, right where them big bad ghost Indians can pick him off. Hey, what are you doing here? My grandfather, high priest of the Talmud, sends word that you must take these people away from here. Would you go back and tell him they're not doing any harm? He says they come to plunder our ancient burial places. Oh, he's wrong about that. These people are scientists. They're searching for history, not treasure. I know. And I want my people to like the white man. But my grandfather, I'd like to talk to him. He's not far away. I will take you. Good. I'll be back as soon as I get my horse. Grandfather Gioli, this is Cassidy. I come as a friend of your people. The burial grounds of my people have been robbed many times. Why should anyone do that? It is our custom to bury our warrior's riches with him. His gold and precious ornaments, his favorite spear and dagger. There is great wealth in our high burial caves. And it'll stay there as far as this expedition is concerned. If Cassidy says it is so, you can believe him. You can depend on it. There'll be no looting by us. I pledge my life on it, Grandfather, by the sacred fire of Tlaken. Now, wait a minute, Jose. That sounds pretty grim. The oath has been given. It cannot be taken back. Come, Jose. We go in peace. <laughs> Get off my place, Atwood. I want to have a talk with you, Morgan. We ain't got nothing to talk about, now get. I just heard a rumor that some white men were posing as Indians and stealing cattle. You hear a lot of things, but proving them something else. Oh, there's proof enough, all right. I just left Hopalong Cassidy, and he's going in to see the U.S. Marshal about it in the morning. Cassidy? Why, how Move can he? Move on over to the herd and take care of that job we were just talking about. You too, Clem. All right, now talk. Morgan, you and your men are stealing cattle and blaming it on the Indians. Go on. Well, I hear you can hang for that. Knowing all that, why do you come over here? I want you to see that I get up to the Indian caves first and alone. I have a map given to me by that Indian boy. Oh, you want to be the first one to make those scientific discoveries, eh, Doctor? Yes, it's quite an honor. Honor? What else? This. Say, that's gold. Yeah, solid gold. If Dr. Harmon gets to the caves at the same time that I do, all the relics will go to the museum, but 
If I get there first. Yeah, it'd be a shame for all that gold to be locked up in some musty old museum, wouldn't it, eh, Doctor? What's an Indian race? Get behind these rocks. My tent until the Indians set fire to it. I ran out and hit behind those rocks over there. Your assistant has been killed. Red killed? That settles it. Dr. Harmon, we're giving up the expedition for the time being. I refuse to let you take any more risks. What do you think, Hoppy? Oh, this hardly concerns Mr. Cassidy. You are my responsibility. We'll break camp at daylight and start back to town. I think the doctor's right, Sue, but I wouldn't worry about it. You can make another try after things settle down. I suggest we all get some rest if we can. A good idea. And I'm really grateful to you. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night, Hoppy. Good night, Sue. Good night. It's a shame to see all their ambition ruined like this. Yeah. You know, there's something funny going on here. What you mean, Hoppy? I saw him leave his tent before that raid started. What? So next morning found us still watching the camp. Looks like they're getting ready to pull out. I might have been wrong, but I thought Atwood was up to something. So did Sue. You mean she knew? Sure. And darn it, what is this? A guessing game or something? She knows what? I told her I'd really leave him. And I thought she was glad to get rid of me. Uh, oh, that could be. It looks like a tie up between Atwood and Morgan. Bosom buddies. Somebody leaving. There's the signal. Yes. You guessed right. Morgan and Dr. Atwood just left together to go to the Indian caves. Morgan raided this camp last night to get that herd through. He might have figured to get rid of us, too, or at least stop us. But why is Dr. Atwood doing this? He's a scientist. I'm afraid he's fallen for the temptation of getting rich. Now remember, he can get to those caves much quicker through Morgan's property. Maybe there's more solid gold up there, like the handle of this knife. This is horrible. My father's reputation is at stake. What's our next move, Hoppy? I don't know, but I promised Jose there wouldn't be any looting. And there's not going to be. Morgan's going to be dangerous to stop. Oh, uh, we can handle that another way. You stay here with Sue until California and I get back. Right, Hoppy. Just how are we going to handle this? First of all, we got to find Jose. We're supposed to find the cave around here somewhere. What's the matter? Ain't that map right? Let me see it. Who's that over there? It's that Indian kid. He'll know the right trail. Go get him. Hey, you! Come back here! There they are. wonder what they shot at. Maybe the uh, Rattler rizzed up and said, Hi, you brother Morgan. <laughs> that was stupid, Morgan. 
I ain't running this. Come on, let's go and look further. I wish we could have found Jose before they got this far up. has broken his oath. He has come to rob us. There was some mistake. I should not have listened to your friend Cassidy. What has befallen my brother? The white man Cassidy is coming to rob us. Cassidy? Cassidy is good. He will help us. Have no fear. I give my oath by the sacred fire of Tlaken. He knows not what he is saying. The oath has been given. Only by the sacrifice of fire can he fulfill it. But it is the man Cassidy who should pay for this treachery. You are right, Tulu. I will go and bring this Cassidy here if it be the will of the gods. up and they're still taking it easy. Kane's joined them now. They'll be starting up. You keep your eyes on them. I'm going to look for Jose. If they get too close, give me three owl hoots, will you? What kind of owl, Hoppy? Stuff. Violi! You are my prisoner, Cassidy. Up. I'm your friend. I came to help your people. Again, you lie. Now kill me like you tried to kill my grandson, Jose. Jose? Well, that's the shot I heard. Finish your work, deceitful man. Here's your knife. You don't believe me. White men are on their way up here. You must keep your people out of sight. Up here. Up here, I pointed my head off and you didn't answer. Well, you didn't hoot loud enough. What's going on? They're all headed for a cave down there. Yeah? There they are, Hoppy. Sewer coming up. They'll run right into Morgan's men. Silly, you. Where'd he go? Oh, I don't know. Never mind him now. I'm going down to see if I can stop Lucky and Sue. You stay here and keep your eyes open. I wish you hadn't started up here. There's going to be trouble. Well, we had to bring you this. A warrant for Morgan's arrest for holding up an expedition and murder. The marshal made Lucky a deputy. Now all he has to do is serve it. Well, he's down below, but he's got some men with him. That'll have to wait until we get you back where you belong. Come with me. What of Cassidy? We met and I was disgraced. If Cassidy spoke the truth, the great god Talakin would have decreed that I was to be the victor in our meeting. But, Grandfather, the great god Talakin will protect us. No, I have failed. And because of it, I will be the sacrifice to the fire pit. You won't have to. I will bring this Cassidy to us at the hour of sacrifice. I swear it. Get him up. Oh. Come back to the United, huh? No. Forgive me. Forgive me? I know who you are. You do, huh? The strong man, Cassidy. Well, yeah, I might be, and then again, I might, but uh, who might you be? A messenger sent to show you the treasure caves of my people, where you may become rich. Yeah? Come, I will lead you. Well, now, doggone it, I ought to stay here, because I've got to keep a lookout. And I... It is very close, and will take a short time. Come, great warrior. 
Well. He is not Cassidy, this weak old man. Weak old man? No, wait a minute. I'll, I'll wrestle you in. This one is acceptable I'll... to Tulakan. Get him ready. Get me ready. No, wait a minute. Get me ready. No, wait. No, wait. My project long as ever. Where is he? Oh, I don't know. I left him right here. And he left here with an Indian. You said he only blamed you for shooting Jose? Yes, and that means we got to find him and quick. You think they might try and take down in California? That's just what I mean. I had to trust the luck that Atwood and Morgan and his men wouldn't be able to follow our footprints. There's your man. Go get him. Put him up, Morgan! All right, my friend. You are a very good friend of my people. Yes, sir. 